From DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. It's probably not going to become the next big cycling craze, but poop doping is a real thing and could possibly give competitive cyclists an edge. Microbiologist and mountain biker Lauren Peterson was sick for more than a decade with Lyme disease, but in 2014 she gave herself an at-home do-it-yourself fecal transplant from another racer. Peterson says she not only felt much better after the stool transplant, she upped her training to five days a week and was winning races within months. As any good researcher knows, her experience only proves correlation, not causation. Still, she says, I wondered if I had gotten my microbiome from a couch potato, not a racer, if I would I be doing so well. Peterson, who says the procedure was not fun but pretty basic, says she started collecting stool samples from top racers and found that a microorganism called Prevotella was found in almost all top racers, but less than 10 percent of the general population. She's now doing more research into Prevotella, which is believed to help muscle recovery. Other experts are skeptical and are warning that bacterial doping at home could be dangerous. Peterson herself acknowledges the risk, and she's not endorsing it. Man, endo endorsement or not, I don't think you have to worry about having a huge following of people wanting to insert somebody else's poop into their rectums. The mayor of Houston has a solution for their flooding problem. He wants to increase property taxes by 9 percent. Oh yeah, because the people who are already financially devastated from the flooding would be more than happy to pay even more towards taxes. According to research, despite medical advances, today's kids, with their fast food consumption and couch potato lifestyles, could be the first generation to reverse U.S. longevity gains. This portion of the show brought to you by Elvis brand peanut butter and fried nanner sandwiches. SpaceX founder Elon Musk is predicting World War III, and he's not saying a third world war will happen due to the antics of a human being like Kim Jong-un, but because of advancing artificial intelligence, which could one day lead to killer robots. Okay, could somebody please go and take away Elon's collection of the Terminator movies? What strikes fear in the hearts of men? Proposing to their sweethearts. In fact, a recent survey shows that popping the question ranks just below swimming with sharks. The idea of proposing was more frightening to men than jumping out of airplanes, going for a job interview, or wearing an opponent's jersey at a sporting event. In the final analysis, swimming with sharks ranked scariest among 28 percent of the men polled, while proposing came in a close second with 23 percent. So keep that in mind, ladies. No matter how much you may not be interested in that guy, just know that when he is down on one knee looking up at you with that ring in his hand, he is doing the bravest thing he has ever done in his life, and he is facing that fear out of love for you. Conspiracy enthusiast Alex Jones, citing high-level sources and multiple people, says that President Donald Trump is being drugged in sodas and iced teas to the point that he's slurring his words at night, and it's all part of a plot to control him. Jones claims they drug presidents because the power structure wants a puppet. You know, honestly, I'm more inclined to believe that if Trump is on drugs, it's on purpose to deal with psychos like Alex Jones. If you're already an official weirdo, please share this video on Facebook, Twitter, Reddit, and other social media to help get the word out. To become an official weirdo, click that subscribe button and click that little bell next to the subscribe button to be a part of the notification squad. While you're at it, click that like button to let the world know that you are an official weirdo.